What's up everybody? We're back. Currently on version 12.5.6.3. There's also a point release going out right now on Teslify.4. It's kind of stalled on the rollout, but we should be getting more of that tonight. And the question is, when are we getting B13? All right, we've got our destination set 15 miles on route, 18 minutes. We're gonna test out some highway driving, test out the speed, new speed profiles. Right now we're on chill. If we go back into the autopilot settings, we do have it on 15% offset. Let's go ahead and bump that up to 20 and we're gonna go ahead and drop it into hurry mode. So as soon as you change the speed profiles, instantly you're getting lane changes. Hurry usually takes you to the farthest lane, standard, just depends on traffic conditions but you can see right here if I put it in chill it's gonna instantly move back over you can almost control the speed the lane changes from this passenger seat pretty wild so we'll go ahead and leave it in standard for now standard moved this over again I right, no traffic behind so that's good I always like to see what's going on behind me when I'm doing lots of crazy lane changes Last night, the drive was zero disengagement. I didn't get it recorded, unfortunately. Went to Crave Cookies, but zero disengagement drove so well. I almost feel like it was a shadow update of the new Dot 4 release that people have right now. But it really gets me excited for V13 when I see the way this version is performing. Currently on our drive, 98 miles since last charge. We're running about 211 watt hours per mile. This rear wheel drive 2024 is the most efficient. Good lane change. And what do you guys think about the new Tesla app on the watch, on the iWatch? I've got it set up right now, viewing my solar and power wall it's pretty sweet um, you walk out to the garage without your phone you have your watch on boom you can get in the car pretty awesome it's a really nice feature oh I agree the only thing is if you get in the car without your phone you forget your phone right and because your watch was on <laughs> halfway after leaving the house you're like oh no I left my phone so I'm sure that's gonna happen Hopefully not to me anytime soon. All right, we got our first interchange here. We're merging from the 95 onto the 215. We're going in 69. Let's not do any speed control. This is see how fast she goes in. She definitely likes to go in hot. All right, slowing down now. You know what? That wasn't too bad. Nice gradual speed into it and the ease of the slowdown, so not so bad. I'm telling you, before, just a couple days ago, it wasn't behaving like that. No, that was... Um, Something changed. I mean, last night's drive was pretty phenomenal. Yes, I agree. All right, let's go ahead and uh, bump it into hurry mode again. Let's see what happens here. Got a little bit of traffic entering the freeway. All right, we got this construction truck with rocks flying everywhere all right we had our blinker on she decided to go ahead and quit and she's speeding up taking the initiative i like it now i'm guessing hurry mode will move us over a couple lanes let's go ahead and let it move us over to the far lane like it usually does there it goes and we'll see if it fixes that lane error where it ends earlier or later On yesterday's drive, it, it just stayed in the lane until it, it merged out as it ended. Let's see if it takes the initiative and gets the blinker on today. <laughs> that would be great. Then after this video today, I do want to take it into the city streets. It's been a while since I've done any city street testing. Very excited to that. I want to test out some auto park. I want to test out the U-turns. All right, so we're doing 76 on 65. What do we have the max set at right now? Let's go ahead and drop it down to... Uh, 70, it was 78. Let's drop it to 75. 
and we just we do have a car behind us but let's see what it does here we're about to lose the road here so let's see how she reacts ideally i'd like her to move over about right now i don't think she can read the sign the sign that shows the lane is ending the, the yellow one all right this is our last chance lane is ending we have anyone behind okay we're clear behind so we're fine we should just merge right over but i don't like that behavior i'd rather be proactive and uh, barely merging uh, over too same behavior yesterday yeah now this drive here our water hours per mile at 254 we do kind of climb elevation here so on the round trip back we'll be gaining all that watt hours per mile be much lower to average out Nine point two miles, twelve minutes. Home solar is charging at two point five kilowatts, thirty per one percent in the power wall available. All right, do we have any traffic behind? We do. Let's go ahead and change it back out to uh, standard mode. We should get out of the lane immediately. Perfect. Just love these new speed controls. And we'll leave it in standard here for a little while. For months now though, FSD has been super straight as an arrow on the freeway. Just makes driving so much easier. And now with the end-to-end, -end, there's no more weird anomalies happening. No more robotic moves. It's not perfect yet, but it's pretty darn good. Got a little traffic coming onto the freeway from the feeder. That truck is throwing rocks. You can see them, all the dust. Yes. So, not yet, but once we get close, let's go ahead and put it in hurry mode and speed it up to 80. So, yeah. Okay, it looks like she moved over without a blinker there. I don't she think I saw did. a blinker. I'm gonna have to watch the video, but I saw you messing with the controls, but she just moved I over. Was about Look to, at all this uh, dust. Oh, it's hitting the windshield. All right, we made it. All right, I was about to, and she went over by herself. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put it back into standard. We should move back over. Very good. Go ahead and drop it down to 72. Got a bogey ahead. Till our exit. I literally could not just use autopilot on the freeway. How much freeway driving we do? It's like the auto. I haven't used autopilot in a while, but autopilot's so squirrely on the freeway. It's like I would just have to pay for FSD on the freeway minimum. I can say that I have never once used it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you've never used autopilot. It's much worse. It's the it's what comes free on the car. And with that being said, so much inventory of all of the models right now. I do expect more discounts before the end of the year. I want to see some zero percent financing or zero, you know, for the uh, Cybertruck. I want to see something crazy like that. Maybe drop the prices or bump up the referral another thousand. With that being said, right now, if you use my referral link down below, you'll get a thousand on any three or Y or 2000 on any SX or Cybertruck. And then I get a thousand dollars. So if you'd like any information, let me know. I'll help you out. Just cruising 72 at the max. Now, if we didn't have the max of 72, we'd be doing about 76, 77, 78. It, it loves to cruise fast with traffic. And traffic does flow past here in Vegas. Let's go ahead and put into chill, see if she moves over to the slow lane. Do have a uh, little bit of oncoming traffic here coming on the freeway. All right, she did slow down her speed a little bit on chill. 
I love these new speed profiles. So amazing. Can't wait to try it on the city streets. Alright, so far just maintaining this middle lane on chill. No traffic behind, really. Let's go ahead and bump it back into hurry mode real quick, see what happens here. So I don't think we would want to move to the left lane as it's blocked, but I want to see if she speeds up and moves over to the right. We do have the, let's go ahead and bump the max to 75. Just want to see what she does here, if she overtakes on the right or not. I have seen her overtake on the right before. Now that the traffic's moving though, she might move to the left, let's see. Our exit's coming up in 1.2 miles. At this point, I think she's just going to follow the route to the right. I think so too. seven of a mile till our exit six minutes on route and there's our blinker we do have another feeder coming in here with a little bit of traffic let's see and that's our exit coming up early blinker all right blinkers back on it's got to slow down to merge in and then one more lane over I do like hurry mode but it's pretty aggressive moving lanes now taking our exit we should drop off the speed profiles here shortly it's still on hurry you'll see that disappear as soon as we hit the city street The speed profiles have dropped off. So no more control except the max speed. We got someone pulled over here. And welcome to Summerlin West, the Red Point Villages. And we got the green light. I do want to show you we're sitting at 178 miles, which is currently 52%. We're waiting to get the battery down so I can do the 10 minute challenge. I want to see how fast this rear wheel drive charges in 15 minutes from as close to zero, you know? See if we can peak out at the 250 kilowatts and I'm very curious. This car is the fastest charging car at home. It gets about 50 miles an hour at 48 amps. That's faster than any other Tesla I've had. Push the throttle, we're kind of hesitating at this blinking light. 1.3 miles on route and that is going to wrap it up everybody thank you so much for watching don't forget to smash that like button hit subscribe leave your feedback down below and we'll see you on the next one